Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore. No, I mean, I've, I'm at, I think I'm in the best shape of my life. I've been going 12 rounds this camp uh, with some guys that are heavier than me, with Virgil Ortiz, with Manny Rodriguez, with uh, Santillan that just fought, uh, Alexis Rocha. So, you know, even the guys I'm sparring, I feel, are, are top, comp, uh, top level fighters. So I'm, I'm more than ready to show that this Friday. Yeah, what do you feel about uh, William Cepeda, which is uh, from watching him and scouting him? What do you think he's going to bring to the table? Oh, uh, I know he's going to be in shape. I know he's going to he's a come forward fighter. Uh, I actually sparred him when we were like 15 or 16 years old at the Olympic Training Center. So I know him a little bit. Uh, I know he's a come forward fighter and uh, he's going to be in shape. Does he remember that? Have you guys like talked that out? No, nah, we ain't, we haven't talked. Probably won't talk to him, but I'm sure he remembers that. Yeah, what does a win over him do for you, man? Both of them defeated. Looks like you're in the cusp of a world title shot. Do you think that's what's next with the win? Yeah, I think a win like this definitely with his record. Uh, he's he's ranked higher than me. I think a win like this would, would definitely put me in uh, in talks for some big fights after this. Hector, you, you kind of smiled when you talked about you guys sparring. You said like he'd remember it. Did yeah. You feel you got the better of that sparring session? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't talk. I don't talk shit, but I, I feel like I got the better of him that's sparring. You know, I use my boxing boxing skills. Uh, so, I, yeah, I just think he 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 remembers that. Does, does that bring extra confidence for a fighter? Being that once you guys spar, obviously it's just sparring. It's in the gym, but getting into the fight, do, does that bring a level of confidence to you? Kind of coming into the fight? Uh, maybe if it was sooner, but I mean, we were 15, 16 years old. You know, it's, it was a long time ago. But I've gotten uh, way better than since then. I've learned much more, you know, being with Robert, and uh, I feel like the, the level of opposition that I fought has been higher than, than what he's fought, so I think that's going to show also in this fight. You think getting a victory over him, being that he's ranked higher than you, you feel it's going to start putting you in the positions that you want, kind of against top, top ten, like, ten, five guys, like obviously eventually a champion, things like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think after this win, it'll put me, like I said, in the talks for some big fights. This guy's ranked, I think, 13th in the WBA. We're fighting for a, a little bell also, so you know that's that definitely puts me in talks for for something out there. Any names at 135 that you want to go after if you're able to beat Tapela? Yeah, uh, you know, being with the zone, you know, hopefully I want to get a, a world title fight after this. So Devin Haney is with the zone too. That's the easiest fight to make, I believe. In the past, Devin Haney has said that I, that I, that fight was offered to you. Is that true? Oh, yeah. uh, but yeah, but I was I was injured at the time. I've never said no to no fight, so uh, you know it was just bad timing. How did he look against Arhelly Nales? Uh, he looked good. He looked good. Um, just Leonardo's, you know, maybe if was, he was a little younger, a little uh, in his in his prime, or whatever. He, he would have beat him, but he he looked good. He put put on a good performance. Yeah, did that change your perspective on who Devin Haney is as a fighter, or do you feel that he looked as good as he always has? Right. Uh, I mean, I've always felt the same about him. Uh, I feel like he's a, he's a great boxer, but I just feel like I have skills that that'll beat him. How do you look against Mario Barros, man? If he comes back down to 135, does that make him the, the number one fighter at the division? And how do you see the division overall? Uh, you know, that, that jump to 140 was big. A lot of people, well, I didn't think it was, he was going to look, look like that. You know, uh, Mario Barros is my, is my friend, too. I grew up with him, and it was a great fight. Um, but uh, if he goes back down to the 135 pound division, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to say. He might be one or two at least. If uh, Cepeda pulled you into a dog fight, would you go for the knockout? I mean, I won't. I'm just gonna listen to my corner. You know, whatever they say. I, I've never let let the fighter get to me or anything. You know, no one has been able to break me down. No one has been able to, to get to me to like that. So, but whatever happens, happens. What, what, what do you think is the game plan to beat Sabeda? Obviously, a guy who comes forward, 20 KOs out of 22. He says, you know, he wants to make it a bra. You know, do you think, you you know, the keys to box him and use the jab, the distance, the ability that you bring to the table? Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, but like I said, I'm in the best shape of my life. I've been working on things, too. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to let him, you know, I'm going to have to earn my respect in there in the early rounds, too. Uh, you know, let him know I'm there. That's not, and I don't think he's just going to walk through me like that. I mean, I only have five knockouts, but no one has been able to break me down. I fought some great fighters and, I, yeah, former champions, and they haven't been able to break me down. So I, I think it's going to be no difference. How do you put it in perspective? Obviously, you're from San Antonio, but, you know, L.A. is kind of like a second home to you. You know, what to tell the fans to come out, Bank of California, get the tickets, and obviously, you know, come out and support. Yeah. No, man, like I said, this is my, my, home, my second home. Uh, they said he didn't take no pictures with the fans, and, you know, they want to take pictures with me right away. So I feel like I got the, the support here, and I feel like... Like I'm home.